Why not Chabari Matzah Ashira? Matzah Ashira, or the way that it's called here is Egg Matzah, is the opposite of the basic name that we call matzah. We call matzah lechem oini, poor bread. One of the reasons it's called lechem oini is because it's very, very poor with ingredients. All you have in it, all you have in it is flour and water. That's what makes regular matzah. In fact, to be yaitze, the matzah, the first night of Pesach, when is the main mitzvah of eating matzah, you have to only use the type of matzah that is called lechem oini, that's called poor bread, that's made out of flour and water only. However, the Gemara brings down that the five types of grains that could become chametz are the only five types of grains that could also become matzah. In other words, you mix the flour, the water, and the difference, the mixture, the dough becoming chametz or matzah is just the amount of time that it takes. If it's less than 18 minutes, then it stays matzah, koshle pesach. And if it's after the 18 minutes, then it becomes chametz. However, this only happens when you mix flour and water together. If you mix flour with any type of fruit juice, may peris, fruit juice meaning it could be fruit juice, it could be oil, it could be eggs, it could be sugar, all these types of liquids that you mix together with the flour will never make the flour chametz. Now, to be understood, it's not going to be chametz, but it could also not be matzah. In other words, for sure you can't be yaitzeh with this for the seder, but it doesn't become chametz. You can make cookies, you can make cakes. However, Rashi brings down, and this is the way that the Ramo Paskins, that flour and water become chametz. Flour and fruit juice will never become chametz. But if there is a very, very, even a very, very little amount of water in the mixture, it causes the flour to become chametz even faster than just regular flour and water. It's part of the effect of the acid and the sugar. It causes the process of this dough to become chametz even faster. And therefore, it brings down the Ramah that even though Theoretically, such a thing could be done. The simple minig in our countries, is that we don't use matzo ashiro on Pesach because of what we said, the quote from Rashi, that we don't know in the process of doing it that we could really be as careful as, as needed. And therefore, says the Ramah, unless it's for somebody sick, an old man, little children, we don't use matzah ashira, for sure not for the Seder, because that, according to everybody, is not good. But even um, for the rest of Pesach, we don't use matzah ashira. It's known that in Israel, they, there was a family called the Papushero family. The Papushero family came from Bulgaria. They came, they originally Sfardim, and they came from Bulgaria, they moved to Yafo, and they, back in Bulgaria, had a special special bakery for Koshla Pesach cookies. When they moved to Israel, they came to Yafo, to Tel Aviv, and they went to the head of the Kashas department in Tel Aviv at that time, Reb Meshulam Rot was his name, and they asked him, could we please get a hechsher for our Pesach cookies that are made out of Koshla Pesach flour and out of juice? And Reb Meshulam Rot said, I'm really sorry, my name is Rot, Rot is Ashkenazim, I cannot give you a hechsher for such a thing that the Ramos says is not Kosher uh, Pesach, for sure not for all. A um, few years later, Asfar Dishirov became the Rav of Tel Aviv, and he agreed to give them a Heksha. Until this day, there's cookies in Israel called the wine cookies or the Matzah Shiro cookies that are made out of Kosher Pesach milk, Kosher Pesach flour that was ground away, that it's really Shomer flour, together with fruit juice. At the same time, came the former chief Rav of Israel, Amort Chalio. And Mertchel Yo said that I'm not arguing with the fact that theoretically such a thing could be done at home. But I do not hold that in a commercial situation, in a big factory, in a big plant, you could be that careful and not even one drop of water should come in. So therefore, says Mertchel Yo, I'm not saying that there isn't such a way of doing it, but the way that they do it in these big factories is not Koshele Pesach. He actually said very strong words about it. 
He said at home is one thing, in a commercial way is another thing. So bottom line, matzah shira is egg matzah or matzah that was used with kosher pesach mil and different types of oil or fruit juice um, and as we said also with eggs. According to the Sfardim, it could be eaten obviously in a way that it's done in a very, very careful way. According to Ashkenazim, says the Ramo, unless it's for old people or sick people or children, you shouldn't be eating it. And the commercial egg matzahs they have today, the commercial matzah should they have today, according to some Sfardi Paskim, they should be good. According to many other Sfardi Paskim, being that it's made in a commercial way, this egg matzah that's made in a commercial way should not be eaten during Pesach.